Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And sometimes people are seen as job hoppers. You know, they've changed jobs every year or two. Um, sometimes it looks as though they're completely different fields. Sometimes there are circumstances that cause that to appear, but let me try and address the job hopping question uh, and uh, try and put a lid on this in, in your list of worries or fears. So let me uh, continue by saying, um, you know, if you're someone who's changed jobs every year or two, and you're at the interview phase, you know, it would have been better had you dealt with that in your cover email. Um, so the notion that I have is you want to take things head on proactively because you know it can be perceived as an issue, right? So in your cover email, you might just simply write something to the effect of, well, you know, I've changed jobs with some frequency, but part of that has been with an eye toward uh, finding the field or career or the type of work that makes the most sense for me. You see, I haven't quite found it yet, but no one at these organizations will complain about my work ethic. No one will complain about my effort. I just didn't find the job satisfying. Now, as I understand this one to be, it's far more appealing than anything I've done before. So this is something that really excites me. So, you know, in doing that in your cover letter, what you're doing is being proactive with it. And then at the interview phase, you can again take it head on because I think, frankly, a lot of firms will raise it as an issue. So again, the notion is, you know, especially if you're early career, like under 30 years of age, um, and you've had th these kind of circumstances, you can deal with this in that way, and it's credible. So the next scenario is, you're someone who's been a consultant. And as a consultant, you're changing jobs with some regularity. What can you do? Now, sometimes the issue is your resume because you're listing each of these assignments as individual jobs. It's best if you have an aggregated category on top of all your consulting work. So you might just simply say consultant, um, October, whatever the year is, to present and show it that way. Even if it appears in your past, do the same thing. October, whatever the year was, to January, whatever the year was. And in this way, you're demonstrating the firm, the firms, these weren't full-time jobs, these were consulting assignments. Lastly, you've been victimized by economic circumstances and forced the job up, as many people were uh, following the Great Recession, where there were no jobs to speak of. So they took temp assignments, or they wound up uh, going from one firm or another that laid them off because of economic circumstances. I don't believe in lying, but I do believe in, in telling the story in useful ways that an, organiz that an organization can understand. So whenever the circumstances were in your life, you can say something to the effect of, you know, at that time, I went from organization to organization, not of my own choice, but because economic circumstances caused these firms to restructure, lay off thousands of individuals. And I was a relatively new person, hadn't had a chance to really prove my mettle with them yet. So they didn't really connect with me yet. I was only there for eight, nine months. So it was easy for them to chop me up and, and throw me out the door. But I'm, you know, I've since found the pla places where I've been able to stay longer, or I'm looking for a place where I can stay longer. There aren't any economic problems at this firm, do you? <laughs> and, and make a joke out of it. But at, you know, taking it head on always makes the most sense. Hope you found this helpful. And again, visit JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. Have a great day. Take care.